Welcome to the second installment of the fantastic Gerald Kensington. When you last left me, I had just burst into the lair of the panda snatchers and defeated the guards, and... What about me, sir? Oh yes, also Rodrigo was there. <laughs> Charming. Anyway, I had just eliminated all the guards when I realized that the creatures in the cages were in fact made of newspaper and were not pandas at all. Then, from the corner of the room, I heard an odd buzzing sound as a small box lit up and a man's face appeared on it and began to speak to me. Is it on? Does that light mean it's working? Nine! Shut up! You're so annoying! I'm talking now. <clears throat> Hello, Mr. Kensington. And pet. That's explosive pet to you. Radiger, you're still on fire. Mmm, shucks. You're so cute. But seriously, drop and roll. Okay. Adorable. Stop ignoring me. Oh, fine, if I must. I expect you were rather disappointed with the results of your investigation. Well, at first, yes. But now I have the face of the man behind the job. You didn't blurt the picture? Imbecile! Sorry about that. I must apologize. Interns. Ugh. Now to business. Regarding the pandas. Yes, the reason we're all here. Well, you will not find them here. <laughs> well, that's a bit of a kick in the teeth, wouldn't you say, Rodiger? Right in the motor, sir. Quite. I would have said incisors, but still. Stop ignoring me! Right. Back to the man in the glowing magic box. Tell your queen that she'll have her pandas back. More pandas than she could possibly handle. What do you mean? <laughs> All in good time, her Kensington. All in good time. But now I must exit. Mysteriously and with style. Well, I don't know about you, but that seemed like a waste of time to me. Another thing, Mr. Kensington. Bananas. <laughs> what do you suppose? Rodiger, leave the fake pandas alone. You left the newspapers, so it's free game. My bed doesn't have any stuffing. You don't have a bed. I can dream. Loading up as much of the newspapers as we could, Rodiger and I travelled as fast as our legs would carry us, eager to give our report to the Queen. 